Welcome to Zoto's Workshop. Today, we're making Terratlas. Were you expecting bike chains? Most likely since it's in the title, but this is what we're working with. On the left here, we've got the four pieces that will make up Terratlas's rock. Over on the right, we've got a few pieces to make up the body and the head at the top. Uh, we've got a few smaller pieces that will be used for the additional details and these four for the legs. Never seen a sculpture made of bike chains? Well, you are about to. So the first step is of course breaking down the chains, which I have already done here to save you a little bit of time because it's really not that entertaining to watch. So the next step is what I'm currently doing, which is taking these different broken down links and turning them into their actual shapes, which will get put together kind of like a puzzle. Alrighty, we're gonna speed it up here a little bit, but for our boy Teratlas, he carries this big old rock on his back, and that's what those four pieces on the left are gonna be used for. Over here on the right, we are going to be putting all these pieces together for the body, which also is kind of the head. Uh, it's gonna include the horn, the spikes, the legs, all that good jazz. Uh, Teratlas is kind of a body head, all one piece. He's a bug, so it's kind of all the same here. With the parts laid out, let's go ahead and sum them up and then hit the welding table. All right, as you can see here, we have uh, two four links up here, which are gonna be the outsides of the rock. The six links are going to be the middle of the rock. Uh, over here, we've configured the main body for Teratlas. Uh, we have sixes for the body with some single links in the middle. We've got some two links over here, which make up the spikes. Some additional two links here make up the legs. Uh, this little single is going to be the top of the head. We've got a three link for the horn, and we've got two flats, which are gonna make the sides of the horn. So uh, let's go ahead, throw it on the welding table and get after it. Coming to you with the raw chain intermission. So this is the middle stage of the process where all the welding is done, but the paint hasn't actually been applied yet. And I personally really love this stage just because how it looks in this raw state is very different than how it looks in its final painted form. It is sometimes a little bit more difficult to tell exactly what it is, but it's still really cool for me at least to see the chains in this style. If you agree and you really like seeing the chains in this style as well, make sure to drop a like on the video here before we get into the paint. And I'd be very curious at the very end if you like the raw state or the painted state better. So uh, let's go ahead and put Teratlas back down. We are going to put that ball back on his back and then we're gonna hit the paint.
There you have it. We have Teratlas from the Elestrals TCG made in my bike chain style. If you have made it this far, consider dropping a like, subscribing to the channel, and hitting that notification bell so you don't miss out on any future projects. I of course want to give a shout out to all of the workshop backers as well. I am forever grateful of your support of the channel. So if you're new, if you haven't backed the channel and you want some bonus content, go check it out on Ko-Fi in the link below.